Guys, that time of week again, it's Monday, it's book review day. This week, we're looking at The Missionary Position by Christopher Hitchens, subtitled Mother Teresa in Theory and Practice. Now, Christopher Hitchens, if you're familiar with him, we've covered him a couple of times on this channel. My first ever book review on this channel was God is Not Great. And then we did uh, Mortality as well. And he made a point, if you're familiar with, with his works and his beliefs, he made a point of people who he considered to be sort of almost untouchable by public opinion, people who you weren't allowed to criticise. He made a point of doing just that. He did it with uh, Bill Clinton, who I've not read, I've not read that book yet. He's done it with Mother Teresa, and he did it in a pamphlet about the royal family, and it's really hard to get hold of. If you want a physical copy, it's about £200, but I managed to get hold of it in a Kindle format and read that, and he criticises the royal family quite, quite savagely in that. And in typical Hitchens format, in this book, he criticises Mother Teresa and her missionary work and what she considered to be the holy divine work of God. And he criticises how she wouldn't give the people in her care medicine beyond sort of aspirin or painkillers, how she had her nuns secretly baptising people, including Hindus and Muslims. He takes anecdotes and stories from former nuns, from people who met, to, uh, met, met Mother Teresa, his own encounter with Mother Teresa, from all different sources, from public letters that were written to her. She was actually involved. She took donations from a man who ended up going to prison for 10 years for fraud. And the, uh, one of the prosecutors wrote Mother Teresa a letter after she wrote a letter to the judge asking him to be redeemed in the name of God and all this and forgiveness and all this. One of the prosecutors wrote her a letter saying, this is where your money is coming from. I urge you to do the thing that Jesus would do. As a fellow Christian, I urge you to do the right thing and return the money to his rightful owners. That never got a response, so he criticises that. And Christopher Hitchens, he's got a habit. He takes opposing arguments. He will present an argument, his argument, and then he will take what would probably be the opposing argument by anybody who, who, who might be opposing him in a debate, or etc. He would take the opposing argument, and then he would debunk that as well. So he leaves, he leaves opponents with nothing, virtually nothing. He will say... Well, Mother Teresa took millions of pounds in donations, for example, and we never saw what became of it. It just got, sort of got stashed away. And then he would say, oh, well, apologists for, my, for Mother Teresa might say this, but then this, this, this. And then he's got a very nice habit of actually looking at the counter-argument and then finding ways to debunk that as well. So it leaves his opponents with virtually nothing to use. It's quite short. It's only about 100 pages or so, including the afterwords. So it's very short. Uh, I read it in a couple of days, no problem. So go ahead and pick it up. Make sure you read it, because this is very, very important. Christopher Hitchens is a very important character. It doesn't matter whether you're religious, atheist, whatever, whether you agree with him, whether you disagree with him. Sometimes I, I consider him to be a pompous ass, but nine times out of 10, he's correct in what he's saying. And he does a very good job at analyzing perspectives, analyzing arguments, and encountering them. He's a very good debater, was a very good debater. And I was, it's very sad to see him go. I would love to have heard what he had to say about the state of British politics and American politics today. Because not only religion, he was also very, very critical and, and very, very vocal in politics as well, as we saw with the Bill Clinton uh, book that he's released. And he's got another book that I want to read by Christopher Hitchens, um, Love, Poverty and War, the Anglo-American Relationship. I'd love to read that as well, just haven't got around to it yet. But go ahead and pick that up. That was The Missionary Position by Christopher Hitchens. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week.